Hey, it's Kelly with CitrusCycles.ca. It doesn't happen often, but we're getting a lot of snow here on Vancouver Island. I'm on my way, way home from the bike shop today, and as you can see, we got a lot of snow. So, I'm uh, riding the Cat Basil here. It's got uh, two wheels on the back with a differential, and I've put the studded tires on so that I can make it through the snow. Let me do a, vi a quick video of riding in the snow here to see how well it works. I've also got the fairing on in case you're wondering what's that big red thing on here on the front. There's our front wheel way up there and the fairing is awesome, keeps you warm, keeps you dry and with these uh, two wheels with power at the back, studded tires, this is awesome. Tons of traction. I'm actually going pretty quick here, not sliding around at all. Uh, braking is working well, steering is working well. I'm you know, in pretty good control here, no problem. This is way better than driving. <laughs> I'm here by myself on the trail, not worried about other cars, uh, very safe. Uh, I feel much better riding my trike in the snow than driving my car and worrying about an accident. So we can help you keep riding all winter, whether it be a bike with a set of tires or a trike like this, you can find all the details on our website at citruscycles.ca. Okay, so I'm going to start the uh, winter ride test of the Haza Cat Basil here with uh, some slippery, icy streets, a big climb as well, big hill, and uh, then I'll find some snow to ride through. There's a little bit of snow right here, no problem. I do have the set of tires on, the uh, Schwalbe Marathon Winter, really nice tire, lots of traction. So we're hovering kind of around the zero right now. So we do have a fair bit of slush, but also some ice under here. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can actually hear the studs making contact with the uh, ground and uh, really digging in, which is great. So when you've got that black ice, you probably won't really be able to see the ice in the video. It certainly uh, makes a big difference. Got the EP8 motor, so it's no problem climbing the hill. Lots of power for that. You hear some ice. Try braking, no problem. These set of tires really dig in well. Do some sharp cornering here, no problem. Also digging in. And of course, traction isn't a problem with that to differential power to both re rear wheels. If one of them slips, I'm still going to get power from the other, which is pretty cool. So now we're transitioning from a little bit of ice and slush into actual snow, some hard packs, some loose. <laughs> it's awesome hearing those tires just dig right in. Because we're kind of around that zero mark, when we get into the shade here, this gets really crunchy and icy. Then no problem on that corner. Still no problem just keeping momentum. You know, it's one of the things about fat bikes, for example. You know, they can be a lot of fun, um, but they're hard to stay upright. <laughs> uh, if you've ridden a fat bike, you know what I mean. It's just, it's hard to keep your momentum going. You get too slow and then you fall off. So of course here, if I get going too slow, it's not a problem. I'm not gonna fall off. <laughs> so as you can see, there's been some traffic driving on here. Even when I drive on the center here, which isn't packed, still no problem getting some traction and making headway. Of course, if I head over to the tire tracks here, I can definitely move a lot faster. And again, this is where it's really nice having that both tires having power. I can kind of wander around here, find where I get the most traction. Both tires are going to dig in. And propel me up the hill. I'm actually climbing a hill right now. It may not look like it in the video. Still on trail. 
I could head up to uh, Boost to get more power if I felt like I needed it. There we go. I can definitely feel slowing down a little bit as my right rear wheel there kind of has to pull itself through the much deeper snow there. Put it up to boost. It's interesting, a lot of times I notice in low traction situations on an e-bike, you actually don't want to use your highest level of assistance because you can often end up uh, kind of spinning out the tires. And uh, interestingly here, I can use boost and I really haven't run into that issue. Back into some more crunchy hard pack. Just straight up ice here. And no problem. We've got loads of ground clearance with the cat vasels, so it's nice if I get into a situation where the there's a big ridge in the middle. I'm not worried about dragging bottom, which sometimes can happen on a trike. Now, I'm not a big fan of snow, <laughs> uh, but it is pretty. And it's, you know, the trike is a nice way to get out and enjoy the scenery when it is pretty like this, but. This is fun, but I'll be glad when the snow is gone. Not sure why I'm avoiding the puddles habit. I suppose they do have fenders. We have, there we go, rode right through that one. We do have suspension all, all three wheels, so you barely even notice the bumps. But that also gives you lots of traction and control. All three wheels are always in contact with the ground. Lots of stability. I'm pretty impressed with the clip I'm able to maintain. There's a lot of rolling resistance from the snow and a studded tires, but of course you've got the assistance from the Shimano Steps EP8, which gives you all the power you need. into the frozen slush and some puddles and some potholes and that's where having the uh, suspension certainly helps a lot keeps me uh, on the on the ground which is important all three wheels always connected to the ground uh, makes it so I don't have to always swerve and miss everything so I can ride through those potholes like that no problem 
It's interesting, I've got a little bit of a wider tire on the front. I think it's about a two inch on the back. I've got a 1.75s. The two on the front is about as wide as you can go. But it's nice because it's giving me lots of control. You know, I don't feel like I'm sliding all over the place. I feel like it's tracking, you know, basically where I want it to go. That front wheel also floats fairly well if I do get into the deeper snow. Whereas what I need from the back wheels is the traction. And that's where, you know, having the 1.75s, they just dig in really well to get down to something that they can grab. Sometimes it's just more ice. As long as it's something hard, it seems to dig in no problem. <laughs> uh, from this angle, you know, those ridges look so big and I'm like, oh man, I'm gonna get stuck or hung up. I know I would in my car, but fortunately with the trike here, we've got lots of ground clearance. It's really not a problem. Right, so basically, <laughs> even that tricky section back there, I can get through everything with this. It's been pretty impressive and a lot of fun. And uh, as always, you can check out more on our website at citruscycles.ca.